Welcome to the NDT Systems TG110 through paint setup video. We will discuss how to set up the TG110 to use a through paint capable transducer and discuss some of the challenges and benefits of using through paint inspection methods. In order to do this, we'll need a standardized step block, a through paint capable probe along with its cable. This is a TG560P. We'll need a couplet of some sort. This is a glycerin based gel, ultrasonic gel. And we have our gauge, of course. First, we'll turn on our gauge and check the software version. This is version 1.56P. The P denotes that it has the through paint capability. If your gauge doesn't have this, uh, you can always send it in and we can upgrade it for you. Push enter to continue. Uh, go to menu. Select Probe. Make sure you're on Auto. Connect your probe cable to your gauge. And verify that the TG560P pops up on the screen. Next, take your block and apply some couplet to the highest and lowest steps. We can go ahead and directly couple our probe to the high block. We'll want to adjust our velocity to make sure that the reading is correct. This is aluminum, so we'll need to adjust the velocity up to 0 0.247. We can verify that we have a good setting by coupling to the smallest block. This is slightly more than 0.1 inches. That's all right. And next, we'll verify that we can read through paint. This step has a coating that's actually tape. Normally, with a normal probe, you wouldn't be able to detect the gauge, excuse me, the step back wall uh, from behind this coating. But with the through paint, we can. We're going to get a nominal value of about 0 0.5 inches. We can verify that we're actually reading through the paint and not just including the paint in our readings by stripping away the coating. And the reading is very close. We can put our tape back just to make sure. and it's the same. Now you want to use through paint coating if you have a sample that you're trying to read but you're not able to remove the coating, say if you have a, uh, a tank with a weather treated uh, exterior coating, you don't want to remove that to keep the tank in good condition. With this you can measure through it. Uh, one limitation you'll run into is your thickness range. Uh, because it uses a delay line, there's a maximum thickness in steel of 3 inches. And because the software is excluding uh, pulses near the interface, uh, your minimum thickness range will be around 0.1 inches in steel. That's all for this video. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about the unit, please give us a call or contact us on our website. Thanks.